Hello, everybody. Mike here at Game From Scratch. And if you are a Blender user, uh, you're going to love this tool, especially if you are working with Blender and other game engines. It's FBX Bundle, and the 1.50 release was just released. And what this tool is, is all about making exporting from Blender to various different game engines or other tools easier. It's a one-click export process, even if you have a single blend with multiple different files in. It also got some tools for logically organizing things together. So basically, if you are exporting from Blender uh, to a game engine, FBX Bundle could make your life wonderful. And at the same time, it is a completely free tool. Now, this may sound somewhat familiar if you're regular on this channel, because I just uh, covered something called Blender for Unreal Engine, very similar in scope, but it is focused on Unreal Engine developers. So for creating your assets, Sets from Blender to Unreal Engine. Uh, FBX Bundle is a little bit more uh, generic in what it is trying to accomplish, but there are profiles for Unreal Engine, Unity, Kalata, GLTF. Um, and so let's jump in and take a look at it. Once again, this is a completely free add-on. All you have to do is download it and basically uh, follow the installation instructions. Normally in a video like this, I would walk you through the process, but this web page does a very, very good job of actually showing you how to do the installation and what this plugin is all about. So we're mostly gonna jump in and take a look at the um, the web page itself. You're gonna get an idea of what this add-on does for you. So you see up here, FBX bundle add-on, batch exports your object selections into file bundles by a common identifier. It is easy to use and requires just a single click to export or update game engines to your, uh, update game assets to your game engine. Optional modifiers allow you to uh, automate game engine optimization such as LOD or level of detail generation, mesh optimization, or creation of collider meshes. So that makes it a lot easier to use uh, Blender as a level creation tool if that is your preference. So the primary features are select objects and batch export in one click or key press, uh, bundle objects into files with local pivots, uh, profiles for Unity, Unreal, GLTF, and Collada, powerful export modifiers, rename, offset, transform, copy modifiers, merge meshes, collider meshes, LOD, vertex AO, uh, and then in Unity, you can auto assign materials and fix rotation issues. We'll get back to that in a second. And you can draw fences around objects. This allows you to... Um, logically group them so you see here it's it's a visual thing in blender where you can basically select a bunch of objects and give them a name the name is ultimately represented with a grease pencil it's mostly just for organization on your end um, the installation process is super simple uh, you see over here there is full install guide so if you want more details so basically just download the zip that is included up here uh, go into user preferences install install it from the add-on and then enable it in the fbx bundle action using it is just as easy select the objects you want to export and hit control e uh, re-export last is control shift e and you, that's it uh, you can here you can see a quick guide of how it is actually used first off you pick your game engine uh, then you pick the path where you want to export things out to. Uh, then you set bundle mode to parent and pivot at mode to parent. You can include the children or not. Uh, choose a main object and parent object, uh, other objects to it, and then select the objects to export. And that's it. Then you hit Control E and your stuff is exported to your game engine. You, you make some changes, Control Shift E and it's exported again. Um, now we go back to the platform specific stuff and this is where some of it really shines. So one of the downsides between uh, Blender and say Unreal or sorry, in Unity, is a different use a different Z-up axis. So it means that your stuff all comes in rotated and scaled weird. Uh, and there's another factor. So the scaling factor is about 100 times bigger. So things come in, is it really, really big or really, really small? One of those two, your exports that you, the, the content that you export out of Blender into um, Unity is often really tiny, I think it is. So what this will automatically do is use the FBX format, applies the correct metric scale, and fixes the YZ rotation. So it basically orientates your up from Blender to be the same up as in um, the uh, Unity game engine. Now this is something you could do on FBX export. You can say to flip the up axis, but this just kind of automates it for you. And on top of that, an optional Unity editor script allows you to automatically assign materials and collider meshes to your export. Unreal also has an export, uh, not as powerful, so you don't get the collider script you get there. Um, and there's also a GLTF. Uh, this requires a GLTF add-on to be installed. GLTF is an open source file format of the future. Uh, it's getting support in just about every game engine and software tool out there. So GLTF is becoming increasingly important. Um... Yeah, so that's kind of the extent of it. it. It's a very straightforward thing. You see there are a number of modifiers you can apply on the export. Uh, so offset transformation, copy modifiers, merge meshes, collider mesh, LOD, and vertex AO. Uh, and then when you're ready, click apply. You can do, uh, allows you to rename the target or bundle file name. 
uh, including dynamic variables written with the curly braces, like that. Uh, you can do automatic LOD generation, LODs being level of detail. So as you get further away from the mesh, it will have uh, less and less detail. As you get closer and closer to it, it will have more and more detail. And you can say how many steps of LOD for it to generate. And again, this is all handled for you. Um, you got vertex ambient occlusion modifier applies vertex colored based ambient occlusion to each mesh of a bundle. Again, a completely optional feature. Offset transform copies the transform offset, move, rotate, and scale of the source object to each item in the bundle. That way you can create hierarchies of things that will all have the appropriate uh, transforms relative to that pivot or parent. Uh, copy modifier copies blender modifiers from a source object to all exported objects. Uh, for example, your source object could contain a triangulate or edge split modifier, which then would be applied to each object in the export. Uh, we got tools. As I mentioned earlier, you can draw the fencing. This is mostly, um, so the pole indicates the pivot for each. So that's where each one's going to get their pivot point relative to. The ground point sets the pivot point of the selected object to the ground of the bounding box of the bundle. And then, of course, that line there, the, this cube 3DX or scene 2X or whatever, that is just for you. It's drawn in grease pencil, a way of organizing various different objects together. Uh, bundles the panel lists in real time the current evaluated bundles of your scene selection. As you change your selection in Blender, this list will adjust and show you the file names have been exported. Uh, there's a compact view option. And yeah, that's it. It's a very straightforward plugin. Uh, there is actually we're, we're in the documentation. Basically, this is all you really need here. Um, and it does exactly what it says it does. It allows you to do quick exports out to your game engine of choice. And if your game engine of choice happens to be Unity, it also does the transforms and the changes for you. It does cool things like LD mesh generation, ambient occlusion generation. Uh, it, it's, it's just a cool, sweet little tool. And if you're using Blender and uh, the Unity game engine specifically, uh, you probably want to add FBX bundle to your uh, tool set for sure. Now, in terms of the uh, 1.50 release that was released, uh, when was that? I think that was the uh, last day of the month. Um, it added those new modifiers. A lot of the stuff is new. It added the new platform specific support. So a lot of the stuff we just talked about was actually just added in the most recent release. Uh, so again, as always, I will toss these links down below. I'll also link to the one for uh, Unreal Engine, the video I already did in case. Um, I think if you're an Unreal Engine developer, that one is a more feature-filled tool. Whereas if you are working with Unity and doing exports, FBX Bundle is probably going to save you a whole lot of time. All right, that's it for now. Hopefully uh, some of you guys find that useful. Uh, talk to you all later. Goodbye.